The song you're listening to right now is James Blake's Unluck from his 2011 self-titled debut album. It's a beautiful song with a wonky groove, but the more you dig in and try to figure out what that groove is, the more surprises you'll find. The first section is full of delayed chords and purposefully placed percussion. If you bring the song into a digital audio workstation to see how exactly everything lines up, you can write it all out like this. From the way that the attack of the synth sounds, it seems like a human being, probably James himself, is playing these chords, weaving in and around the beat, sometimes landing just off the beat, sometimes landing way off the beat and sometimes bang on bang on it's bang on bang on but the real interest is in the next section you start to hear more percussion sounds fill in the texture, and when you try to tap a pulse to what you're hearing, you'll find that it's really tough. It feels really drunk, like the beats you're hearing never fall in the same place twice. But it also sounds too quantized to be a human being just playing drunk, so what gives? Turns out, those are both kind of true. When you write out the rhythm, you get these 16 bars with a short pickup. When it's written out like this, you can see that there's some sort of repeating pattern, but even when it's distilled to this level, it's hard to see what's going on. To save you some trouble, it's these three bars made up of groups of fives and sixes. They repeat in the pattern of 5-5, five, 6-6, five, 5-5, six, six, five, five, with this single beat taken out of the second 6 group. Why is this pattern so complicated? Well, think about what the song is trying to achieve. How does a drum machine play drunk? How does a computer give you the impression of an irregular, misplaced, even swingy groove when it's designed to give you perfect repeating loops? Just repeat irregular patterns instead of the standard ones. There are four quarter notes in a bar of 4-4. Four, four. If you do a boom bap, it's a quarter of a bar, 25%. This is 15 30 seconds, or 46.875% of a bar. And this is 9 sixteenths, or 56.25% of a bar. You need to repeat them in this way to fill up three bars, and if you want it to fill a standard 16 bar chorus, you need to start it on the second six group at the pickup in this exact place. And in the end, you get this effect an off-kilter groove like a human being playing drunk, but perfectly quantized, just quantized in a weird way. Like my last video with clipping, it's beautiful because it's not exactly necessary or loud. It achieves an effect whether you understand it or not. And if you do break it down to figure it out, you unearth a beautiful pattern, like a mandala under soil or hardwood flooring underneath your carpet. Subscribe if you want to, follow me on Twitch. That's all I have. Listen to James Blake. Bye.